Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you five easy reach daytime fragrances that are perfect for this crisper, cooler weather that we're having. Eee! I'm so excited to share them with you. Uh, yeah, I thought I would pick fragrances that kind of fit certain moods because you don't always want the same thing every day. So depending on my mood, these are my go-tos. And before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And if you are already part of the Weird and Wonderful, you are awesome. I so appreciate your ongoing support. You guys are amazing. And without further ado, let's get into this. The first fragrance I'm gonna share with you, I thought I'd share kind of the vibe. So if I'm wanting something like a little bit syrupy and sweet, but still bright and energetic, I would choose Florence by Swiss Arabian. Now this one is really similar to Rose's Vanille by Mansara. Intense Cafe by Montel is kind of in the same genre, but Intense Cafe does have that bit of coffee, whereas this is straight up kind of a tart rose uh, with some praline in it. So this one, it's just delicious. To me, it smells like uh, kind of smells like a caramel apple to me. I don't know why. Find that with Rose's Vanille, um, the dupe from Zara. Same thing, it gives me kind of a caramel apple vibe, a tart caramel apple. And I think that the reason why it smells so tart to me is it's got a lot of lemon and bergamot in the opening. There's watery notes in this too, but that doesn't make sense to me at all because all I'm getting is the lemon and the bergamot. No watery feel with this at all. And then in the middle you get rose, vanilla, and praline. And I'm definitely picking up that praline, kind of that caramely feel. I know praline isn't caramel, but Praline with vanilla, like they all kind of start to smell similar. So definitely get that caramel sweet, but the rose kind of plays second stage to that tart caramel apple vibe that I get in this. And then the base has musk, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. Uh, I don't really notice those at all. Maybe in the deep dry down. This thing is a beast, by the way. Like you're gonna get 10, 12 hours out of this. If I spray this on at night, in the morning, I can still smell it. So the, the performance is fantastic. Projection is just amazing on this one. My husband actually really likes this one, which is kind of a shocker to me. Uh, so as a result, it's a bit of a winner. Um, yeah, like excellent longevity uh, and just a really delectable kind of tart yet very sweet fragrance. So the tartness kind of helps it from getting too cloying, I think and I just really enjoy it. It gives me caramel apple vibes the whole entire way. Normally I'm not a huge fan of apple, uh, and no, this doesn't have apple, but it somehow gives me that vibe. Does it give anybody else that caramel apple vibe? Does Rose's Vanille give you a caramel apple vibe? For whatever reason, that's what I get. So really, really enjoy this fragrance, and yeah, it lasts forever. If I'm kind of in an energetic mood and want something uplifting and vibrant, Florence fits that category, but as well, uh, Angel Nova fits. So I know this one was kind of marketed more in the summer, seemingly. I think that's when it was released. Uh, but to me, this one is so potent that it works better in the cooler weather. So in the summer, uh, like I don't mind wearing it in the summer, but it feels really, really heavy, um, especially with that wood component. This has raspberry and lychee in the opening and it's very, very bright. So beautiful, beautiful, nice, strong raspberry note. But then immediately you start to pick up rose and then the base has Aki Gala wood and benzoin. Now apparently Aki Gala wood is a synthetic uh, version of patchouli. So it's essentially uh, Mugler's uh, patchouli kind of base. So smells woody, but it smells like, a, you know, it's, it's a very, very kind of woody, little hint of spicy wood, but it comes out and it's a little bit sharp. So overall the fragrance has this sharp component, but it's just so juicy and delectable. It's again, a powerhouse of a fragrance. I just think this one's really great if I need a boost and, and want that energetic vibe. 
uh, this one definitely gives it to me. And longevity wise, it, you know, it lasts on my skin for like 10 hours again. So no need to reapply. It's good. If you put it on in the morning, you're good till like way in the evening. So love it. Next fragrance, if I'm wanting something uh, a little bit more sensual, but still daytime appropriate, a little bit more cozy, I would pick Luxtas by Nina Ricci. This is definitely more rose. So the other two were vibrant, sweet, energetic, tart fragrances. This one is more, a little bit more sensual, a little bit more cozy, a little bit more relaxed, and a lot more classy. This has pink pepper, peach, and pear in the opening. To be honest, I don't smell any of that. The middle has rose, raspberry, white florals, and jasmine. I definitely get the rose. So any other florals are more of a supporting player. Um, I don't even really notice that raspberry, maybe a little bit, but I'd never pick raspberry out. I mainly get that rose and then I get the, the base notes. The base has caramel, benzoin, amber, vanilla, musk patchouli, and Virginian cedar. So really uh, what I get is that caramel vanilla with a little bit of uh, woodiness in the base. This is just beautiful, definitely rose centric, but it smells kind of like a caramel rose. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. It's, it, it's got enough caramel and enough kind of yumminess going on in the gourmand notes, like the caramel and vanilla, that it gives it kind of a gourmand vibe. It's just really kind of sensual and um, feminine, uh, sweet, uh, but it's a lot more thick sweet. So whereas these have kind of a, a tart sweetness, this is a little bit syrupy. This isn't syrupy at all. This one's syrupy, uh, but there's a tartness that's with it, you know, because it feels like that apple, like I said before. This one is definitely more uh, darker, uh, a little bit richer, and it feels a little bit more uh, thick somehow. Yeah, like just, ooh, it's so, so good. So really enjoy wearing this one. I find it quite classy and feminine. Uh, classy, feminine, and sensual are the, the words that I would use to describe this one. It's a little bit more mature, I would say, than the other two. There's enough gourmandness in there with that caramel and the vanilla to give it kind of like an edible quality, yet still remaining a little bit more elevated with that rose. So I think that this one is really beautiful. This one, I would say, is a little bit more of a, a mature vibe. Uh, but that said, like that's up for interpretation, right? So I really, really enjoy this one. I enjoy pairing this with caramel type lotions to just kind of increase that delectable fat, uh, that delectable quality. But uh, yeah, this one, it's just really beautiful and so, so affordable. The next easy reach, and this one would be one that I would choose for a daytime fragrance if I want something really kind of feminine and flirty. I would pick Idole Nectar. This is a new one to my collection. Um, I'm in love with this fragrance. Now, the beginning of this fragrance, it's just all rose, and it very much has that Idole vibe, but to me, the rose comes across. Uh, there's still that watery kind of quality to it in the opening, but it comes across almost a little bit more like a peony. So when I smell peony next to something like this one, uh, I definitely get that somehow peony, um, yeah, totally peony type vibe. So it's Edol, like you definitely get the Edol DNA. And as soon as I smell it, I think, oh yeah, I can smell Edol. Uh, but it the, the rose is so sweet uh, that it feels a little bit more peony-esque. And it's just like really fluffy, uh, just just beautiful, beautiful opening. Where this one shines is in the dry down. And I find that this lasts a long time on my skin, like at least six hours, I notice it. And it's one where like, you know, I put it on in the morning, notice that rose to begin with. As the day goes on, I don't notice it as much. And then I'll get this beautiful whiff of the middle notes and the base notes. So it has caramel and popcorn in the middle and then vanilla in the base. So this, 
somehow turns into the most delicious fragrance. I had never smelled popcorn in a fragrance before, and I am in love with the popcorn note. Like, everyone always talked about the popcorn note. It was always popcorn, popcorn, Miss Dior, popcorn note, Pure XS, popcorn note. And I thought, who the heck wants to smell like a cinema? I don't want to smell like popcorn. I want to smell, I don't know, anything but like, disgusting buttered popcorn. Not interested, but for whatever reason, I really lost the plot because popcorn smells amazing in fragrance. Somehow it just works with that rose so beautifully. And then with the caramel and vanilla, to me, I said this before, it's like this elevated popcorn ball where you have lots and lots of rose petals and then popcorn and caramel and vanilla and you've made it into this big huge rose kind of flavored popcorn ball. I don't know how but that's kind of what I get out of this. I love it. I love that gourmand quality. Again it makes it feel warm. I think this one was marketed for spring and summer too. I think it's potent enough and projects well enough that you could wear this uh, all year round. I am definitely uh, liking it for fall and yeah, super easy reach. If you wanna smell a little bit flirty, a little bit happy, you know, that happy flirty vibe uh, and a little bit of apple there at the end, you gotta try Edole Nectar, like definitely go sniff this one. Out of all the new releases, this is my favorite by far. In fact, I found most of the new releases to be rather lackluster. Maybe I need to talk about them uh, a little bit more. Maybe I should do a whole entire video just dedicated to new releases and what my thoughts are on them. But this one is definitely a winner and super easy reach because it's just plain gorgeous and you smell great for hours. Now, last easy reach would be, uh, you know, if I want something a little bit cozy and comforting but still works great in the day, I would choose Amouage Sunshine. Now again, I think a lot of people think of this as a summer fragrance because of the sunshine name uh, and the bottle being all sunny looking. Um, although this one works really beautifully in the summer, like seriously, this is an all year round fragrance. This one is so warm and there's a sensuality about this fragrance that's just absolutely stunning. It has almond, blackcurrant, and artemisia in the opening. Definitely get that almond and a, a slight greenness uh, from the artemisia. Then for florals, it's got osmanthus, magnolia, and jasmine, and then it also has vanilla in it. What I get is that osmanthus. This. So I don't get black currant, uh, but I definitely get that osmanthus uh, vibe. Uh, so a little bit of an apricotty peach vibe from that floral. The other florals must just be supporting because I don't really notice them. But that almond stays kind of center stage, working really beautifully with that osmanthus and vanilla. And then the base has papyrus, juniper, patchouli, and uh, white tobacco flower. Definitely definitely get that white tobacco flower but it smells sweet and kind of humid and it just it gives it such a cozy vibe i think that this is beautiful it's definitely unique um when i first smelt this i thought it was the weirdest thing ever i find that this is a bit of a morpher so that it smells a certain way when you first put it on a little bit brighter a little bit greener and then it slowly warms up and becomes a lot more almond and vanillic this is just an absolute gorgeous fragrance. And again, the longevity on this one is fantastic. Honestly, the longevity on all of these fragrances are awesome. And so in an easy reach fragrance, I'm wanting something that is going to project nicely, have a nice sillage, uh, suit my mood. So that's why I've got a few different options, but also something that's gonna last a long time. A lot of times, you know, you want something where you can grab it and put it on and then you're good to go for the whole entire day. So all of these work from that perspective. I think probably the poorest performer is this one and I get at least six hours out of it. So uh, that would be the, the poorest. The rest of them are, are a lot longer and some of them are just crazy awesome in performance. So love these fragrances. They're definitely go-tos for the fall for me. What about you? What are your easy reach daytime fragrances for the fall? I would love to know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.